Hello, I'm Raina and welcome to GRE Fridays. Today's problem comes to us from this book. It's page 88, problem number three. Let's get started. Today's topic is graphing lines in the XY coordinate plane. First, let's take a look at the slope intercept form of the equation of a line. Y equals MX plus B. This is often the most useful form to get your equation into in order to answer test questions because we can see both the slope and the y-intercept just by looking at the equation. The m represents the slope and the b is the y-intercept. Let's use an example line to illustrate how this works. Say two points on our line are 3, 9, and 1, 3. We find our slope m by using this equation. m is the change in y over the change in x, which we can write as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now we can plug in our numbers. So I'm going to put 9 minus 3 over 3 minus 1. So the slope of this line is 3. Now that we have the slope, we can start making our equation more specific. y equals 3x plus b. In place of the m, we've now put our 3, which we know is the slope of this line. To find our y-intercept, b, we can use one or the other point because we know both of these points are on the line. Plug them in for x and y and solve for b. I'm going to use the point 1, 3. So I plug in 3 for y equals 3 times 1 for x plus b. And now I have a simple equation with one variable and I can easily solve for b. b plus 3 equals 3. So b equals 0. So now let's put it all together. We have y equals 3x plus 0. So y equals 3x. Now we'll take a look at a GRE quantitative comparison example problem. Here's our problem. A line in the xy plane contains the points 5, 4, and 2, negative 1. That's our intro information. And then we have our quantity a, the slope of the line, and our quantity b, is zero. To begin with, we can easily find the slope of the line because we have two points and we can use our equation to find the change in y over the change in x. Alright, so let's plug it in. We'll do the change in y on the top. I'm going to do 4 minus negative 1 over the change in x is 5 minus 2. 4 minus negative 1 is 5 over 5 minus 2 is 3. So our slope is 5 thirds. Now if we, we have our quantity A, 5 thirds, and remember our quantity B was 0, we can easily see that 5 thirds is greater than 0. So our answer will be A. A is greater. Thanks so much for watching. As always, if there's a specific question you'd like me to cover, drop it in the comments and I will do a video about it real soon. Bye.